Whenever you're going to do a procedure on your bunny, you should make sure that you have a firm surface so that the bunny is not slipping and sliding. You're going to put something underneath the towel that prevents the towel from slipping and put a nice soft towel on top so that the rabbit feels comfortable. So this is Mary Jane and we're going to use Mary Jane as our demo to show you how to clean a rabbit's eye that has chronic leaky eye. This is very hard for some people to, to do at home. So if we show you the steps on how you can clean it and maintain it clean, then it won't accumulate the crustiness that some of these bunnies get when they don't have their eyes cleaned. Unfortunately, it has to be done probably on an every other day basis. And if you let it go too long, I'm sure some of you have had bunnies that have these great huge crusts along their fur. And when we go to clean it, the fur comes off with it and you're left with a big bear patch. Now causes for this leaky eye can be anywhere from a blocked lacrimal duct and Mary Jane does not have that. We have already flushed her eye ducts. Or it can be a tooth root problem where the tooth root is impinging on the lacrimal duct and it's making it smaller. So instead of the serum coming down the lacrimal duct, it goes, it goes up over the eye and, and down her face. That is a problem that we cannot solve. So for some of these bunnies, what you do is just maintain their eye by keeping it clean. Okay, so what we have here is an eye wash solution. You can use Bausch & Lohm. You can actually use some warm water. But the only way that you're gonna get this sticky substance off their fur is by getting it really, really wet. So we have gauze here. You can use cotton balls or you can use a cloth. Blotting it with a wet paper towel does nothing because it's not going to get wet enough. So what we're going to do is try to soak this. If I touch this right now, this stuff right here is sticky and all clumped together and that's what you need to that's what you need to break down with this solution or the water now i'm not hurting her but it's scary for them it's scary for us when people come near our eyeballs so that's what she's going through right now so what you need to do is just keep getting this truly truly wet and with your fingers you can actually break down all the little sticky I'm using my nail to break down the sticky stuff in her fur to make it nice and pliable. Like taking knots out of your hair when you're combing your hair. Let's see if she'll let me do this. She did not like water on her face, so. But you can see this is soaking wet. Here's a little piece. So see, she's got a little bit of a discharge right here, but there was a little bit of a stuck piece here that I just pulled away. So this is nice and wet now. And I don't feel anything. Her fur is, doesn't have any sticky stuff on it and it's nice and clean. Then what we do is this is an eyebrow comb. This right here is an eyebrow comb. You can buy it at Harmon, you can buy it anywhere. And the you just use the comb and you gently, and <laughs> come here, you gently just brush her fur so all the fur is separated <laughs> so all the fur is separated she's having an issue with the eyebrow comb until it combs through all of these little tiny hairs and separates out all the sticky material it's like taking shampoo out of your hair you just want it nice and soft and then after it's combed out i normally take another gauze or you can take a, a cloth. Paper towels don't cut it. They're not absorbent enough. And I dry all the fur up because they don't like having a wet face. I dry all the fur up. I know, sweetheart, I know. I dry all the fur and then you just comb it back again. So, and comb it in the direction that she should have her fur. So when she came in, this fur was all matted and hanging down in front of her face. And so now this is a normal, there, she looks, it looks good. The fur is nice and clean and nice and soft. That's 
That's how her face should look. If your bunny is being sensitive to having the face combed with this comb, you can just pat it dry and put her back in her pen and she'll clean her face herself. But the object of the game is to keep this clean. If Mary Jane's eye wasn't clean for two weeks, this would be a much longer process. And as I was taking the small debris off her face, the sticky stuff, her fur would pull with it. And some of these babies, after we finish cleaning, have an entire ball spot here that comes off when we start cleaning the fur. So keeping up with eye cleaning is the best thing that you can do. And uh, I know some of these bunnies aren't agreeable to it, but you really have to keep up on it. And just because she's a great model, do you want some? Do you want a dried cranberry? Huh? 